Ron Behon Rath, August Dog Hood, on Come, the army has been poisoned. Curse of Loki. Speak, Harson! Who? Th that's the man, my king! You accuse Barrett? Uh, it's him what gave me the poison. Seven silver he paid. Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your deans are hale and hearty. My lord. Flattering words and servile gifts. All to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison, and Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him! He says to me, poison the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me life! Silence! Ah! Ah! Take this man away! No, 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 no. I do nothing! Kira. I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. <sighs> Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah. One of your scattered coven of forest-dwelling pagans? Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables near the front gate. Barith, you should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. Come, let us find my friend Deirdre. Who is this healer? She is a druid. Wise, despite her youth. Are you ready? I am curious to meet her.
Poor Barith. I'm disappointed that Flawn even considered the accusation true. The poisoning had two goals. Disable our army and put the blame on Barith. But who's behind it? The soldiers cough blood. It must be the poison used by a druid cult, the children of Thanu. Who are they? When the Christians came with sword and fire, some few druids banded together. Eventually, they vowed to destroy the Christians. They turned to mayhem and murder. Many disguise themselves and live among the villagers. What of Deirdre and druids like her? True druids oppose the Danu, but they are scattered and disorganized. That is why I am so determined to help Flan to the throne as High King of Ireland. He will stamp out the children of Danu, leaving true druids to carry on. Tell me more about your friend. Deirdre is a druid I have known for years. We've learned together. You were once a druid. I was. There are many pagans and druids isolated in forests through all Ireland. This way, across the river. This land is unsettling. I'm unsure of the way. Follow the storm. like a wild beast. It's what I'm Show me. Deirdre's hat. Eivor, she is a druid, so a bit... Eccentric? Yes, that's it. Eccentric. <laughs> Are you ready at last to return to the joys of the forest? Deirdre, this is my friend Eivor. I'm sorry to say we've come for help. Fear me. I hoped the auguries were mistaken. Children of Danu? Yes. Flan's army is spitting blood. You know what is needed. I'd hoped you'd find another way. What is this about? The children of Danu make the poison, but they also hold the key to its cure. Amber, made from the sap of an ancient tree sacred to them. Each child of Danu carries a shard of this amber. Once steeped in its owner's blood, the power that is held deep within the amber is set free. This is a somber request. How will I find one of these dark droids? A friend of ours tried to discover the identities that Danu have taken. He hoped to find one called the Wren. Then that friend was killed. The Danu are truly dangerous. You may find something in his abandoned house, up north near Port Orly Trading Post, at the mouth of the Bali Sadir. I will find this Wren, steep the amber in his blood, and return once I have done. I pray the spirits guide you. What do I know? 
know of this child of Dano? Clearly, the fog.
be gentle if they spot me. Deirdre and Kira, and give them the amber stained in blood. Get round the side! Eivor, I worried you'd come to harm. I did not, but the wren did. May the wren's blood ooze into the lonely earth and feed the forest with red milk. Give me the shard for the cure. The humors of the ancient tree live on in the amber now sparked by blood. Look, it turns deep crimson. The cure will be painful. The soldiers will writhe and plead to be killed as a mercy. But in a few hours, they will be well. Thank the spirits of the earth. The wren carried a note. A note? The poisoning and the plan to accuse Barith was the doing of someone called the Cursed. There is a cottage in Tuam, where the cursed hides. Perhaps we can find who made the poison there. It is a small hope, but hope still. It is nearby. We must go. Not yet. The cure is prepared. You must deliver it as quickly as you can. I will look for this mysterious cursed. You take the cure to Keshalor. Three or four drops on each soldier. No more. Thank you, good friend. Goodbye. Eivor, I'll meet you under the tree outside Tuam, heading south. The Cursed will be your second child of Danu, Eivor. There are others. Were you to bring me all their shards, I could mix you a potion that would give you the first of the blazing sun. I will fell this one. Then I will think on the others. 
and your mysterious son. Before you go, there is a darkness rolling toward Kira. Please watch over her. <laughs>